Right. Oh, and you would expect that given the government's action that they've stopped that fleeing of deposits, therefore you're never going to have to sell the assets that are underwater to meet those depositors' right. needs. But I think, Carl, what we're looking at is, is it, it's so easy to transfer money to the banks that are, quote, not in trouble, that we're going to have to deal with something which says, says you should not move, period, end of story. And that would involve a second round. And then people are going to worry about tax care. So it's not over. Uh, I do want to caution that if you have money in some of these banks, well, they're obviously going to punish you. We don't know which ones are which, obviously. And I also don't want to cause any run. It is easy for any of us to cause a run at this very moment. This is Friday. Yeah, we saw that, uh, saw that on Friday right. in sharp relief. There's the opening bell and the CNBC real-time exchange of the big board. It's Ireland, Inc., celebrating annual Ireland Day. Of course, St. Patty's coming up, focused on investment connections between Ireland and the U.S. At the NASDAQ, Just Capital, a nonprofit ranking America's most just companies. Breath pretty weak here, 38.19.